My favorite flowers in the restaurant garden, number one, is definitely nasturtiums. They're delicious. Bachelor button or cornflower. I really love the color. Calendula or pot marigold. Pick them fresh and then I will dry them. Johnny jump ups. They will flower very, very, very early in the spring and then very, very, very late into the fall. So nasturtiums love the hot, dry summer weather. You can't really rush them, so don't try and plant them too early in the spring. They'll germinate really easily from seed. And the best part about them, the flowers are beautiful. They're delicious. They're peppery, kind of a crisp bite to it. They're really, really nice. The leaves are also edible. Nasturtiums also come in a lot of different kinds. They can be orange. Then there's some like spotted orange and yellow ones here. We have some that are like a uh, sort of a peachy color with red centers and then some deep red ones too, which I really like. They also are very vigorous growers. So they're really good to grow either in their own bed or in the edge of a raised bed where you can sort of push them into the path and give them a lot of space because they will take over. Another one of my favorite edible flowers is this bachelor button or cornflower. This is a beautiful flower. Again, it's an annual flower. Grows up pretty tall, grows really easily from seed in the spring. This one you can put out a little bit earlier than nasturtiums. And I really love the color. Just not a color that you see very often. Blue really contrasts with the colors of food. Often what we do is you just pull all the petals off and then you just sprinkle them on the food. They don't really have a lot of flavor. I'd say they're really more about the color. You really have to keep them deadheaded. So when I'm out picking, I'm also deadheading. Otherwise the whole plant will die back pretty quickly, um, but you can keep it going right until frost or even later. If you keep it deadheaded, keep it from producing seeds. And then if you do find some that have already produced seeds, I just sprinkle them back in the bed and then those will come up next year. I love plants like that that are technically annuals, but that if you can get them self-seeding in a bed, they'll come up again and again and again, and you won't have to plant them every year. So another annual flower I love growing in our restaurant garden is calendula or pot marigold. This plant is pretty much all orange and nice big flowers. You can get a lot of different types. Some of them are sort of like rosy, uh, pinky. Some of them are yellow. Usually you'll see yellow or orange. They're very, very prolific producers once they start going. So this is one that I actually will save for the winter. I wouldn't say these have a very strong flavor, more just sort of like a bit of a floral vegetal. Um, flavor. These ones you also want to keep deadheaded. They'll keep producing flowers as long as you don't let them to go to seed. So you can see this one's just finishing, um, starting to produce seeds. These seeds will dry out on here and fall to the ground. And again, it'll self-seed and you can have a nice calendula area that keeps going year after year. Another favorite that's sort of past its prime right now in the summer is Johnny Jump Ups. So these little violets have just naturalized themselves all over our garden. They have just these beautiful little flowers. They self-seed really easily. So they basically have become a perennial at this point. Some of them do overwinter some of the plants um, and they just spread, they're low growing. They don't get in the way of anything. They have really beautiful markings and as they naturalize, they'll crossbreed. And so you'll end up with like a huge variation in the sort of colors and the spot patterns, which is very fun. They will flower very, very, very early in the spring and then very, very, very late into the fall. So right now they have a little bit of powdery mildew on them. They're not super happy, but as the temperatures get colder, they're going to really thrive and they'll keep going. They also have a nice flavor. It's almost like a bit of like a bubblegum flavor, I would compare it to. They're just so cheery because of how plentiful they are in the spring and the fall when you're really waiting, waiting, waiting for all of the other flowers to come out. These ones are here and I, I just really adore them.